Hello and welcome to a very special Bohemian podcast on our YouTube channel. I'm your host, Pete Coleman. Today we're in Barone, Czech Republic, which is just about a half an hour, I would say, uh, southwest of Prague uh, at a very small airport. Today we're going to take you on a tour above the Czech Republic on several castles that we probably mentioned on the show. Krivoklat, Karlstein, uh, maybe Konopiste. We'll just see what kind of time we have today. We'll get it from an aerial perspective during... Well, the height of autumn here in the Czech Republic, and I hope you enjoy the show today. Our journey above central Bohemia began just before dusk on a cold autumn evening in Buvitsa Airfield, a frequent grassy hilltop landing strip near the town of Barone. Many single-engine pilots take off and land here for recreational and sightseeing excursions. My son Nathaniel and I were excited for this trip above central Bohemia. The Air Club of Barone hosts a variety of single-engine prop planes and gliders. And that too. Hi, buddy. Hey! <laughs> Today we will be flying with the OK Sightseeing Company in a Cessna 172 aircraft. It is a tight squeeze for three people, maybe similar to the interior of a Volkswagen Bug. With the pre-flight complete and headsets on, we prep for taxi and then take off. Gaining altitude, we see the small villages, and soon we fly over Velky America, a quarry that Czech filmmakers used for many years as an American Western backdrop for their films. There were times when the flight was not that smooth, but in these small Cessna aircrafts, you really feel the excitement of flying. We picked a great day for this tour, as the autumn leaves were just a few weeks away from their peak. If you had to pick one castle in the Czech lands that is most well known, it would be Karlstein. Built by Holy Roman Emperor Charles IV in 1348, it housed some of the most precious relics in all of Christendom. Today, it is one of the most visited castles in Czechia. The main tower that was finished in 1365 today stands strong and proud. Tocini Castle was built during the reign of Wenceslas IV at the end of the 14th century. The castle was reduced to ruins during the Hussite Wars, and what was once built up again was further destroyed in the Thirty Years' War. Even with all that she had been through, Toshni Castle still stands today to welcome throngs of visitors through her tourist season. Our final castle flyby is one of my favorites, Krivoklat Castle. Begun in the 12th century by Primalcid Ottokar II, this medieval castle served as a residence for the future king of Bohemia and Holy Roman Emperor Charles IV. The Royal Chapel and the Knights Hall are areas well preserved for tourists. As we head back to the airfield, VTAC flies us over the large active quarry mining field and the beautiful forest of Krivoklat. The land just southwest of Prague is still very forested even as residential development continues in hopes of making Barone a bedroom community for Prague. A chateau comes into view that shows the stark difference of this area's past and the modern day industry that populates the Baron region along the Baronka River. Vicek starts his descent as we approach the airfield, just in time as the sun begins to settle in the sky. The landing is a smooth one as our pilot finishes his last hour-long tour of the day. A short taxi to the hangar and we are done. What a great experience this was for me and my son. Our pilot, who has been flying ever since he was 15 years old, tells us why the pre-dusk flights are some of his favorite and what we saw today. Uh, there was a, a query called America, and then we continued to uh, to Castle Karlstein, and then along the Berunka River to Křivoklát Castle, and then we crossed the uh, Křivoklát Forest. We're probably the soft light, you know, it's really beautiful to fly above the uh, you know landscape, and uh, you can see the. The, the autumn landscape, which is like nice, which has nice colors. Yeah. 
All right, well, I hope you enjoyed the flight tonight. Uh, this was great. It was right at twilight here in autumn. Uh, about uh, 5 or 6 p.m. right now and uh, you got to see some great castles from from a perspective that we normally don't get to see on the show um, and from the podcast we talked about uh, from usually going from the bottom up we actually were looking down so um, it was actually very very beautiful um, and uh, I think the best part about it was to see uh, the perspective of the entire valley here uh, in Barone, near Barone and Krivoklak Castle and, and Karlstein, many places I've been to many times before but really felt that I got to see the, these places in a brand new light. And I hope you got to see that and enjoy that here on the Bohemian Podcast. So until next time, for the Bohemian Podcast, I'm Pete Coleman. Nascladano. <laughs>